good Saturday morning. We're back. I'm Patty Piper and I'm filling in for Randall White. He is enjoying himself at a farmer's market in Madison, Wisconsin right now. This morning, we are joined by Eric Hickey from Letitia Vineyards. Good morning, Eric. And uh, you're talking about a couple of topics today, winemaking, your specialty, and a big event coming up. Roll out the barrels. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Excited about it. Now, Eric, um, I've been to Letitia Vineyards. I did a story there, uh, I feel like, a couple years back. Was I talking with you? I think you were. I've, I've been around a long time, so it was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, uh, you were harvesting and just getting ready to um, crush the grapes, and I just was so fascinated watching you put together the uh, press, which it's from Europe, right? Am I, am I remembering this right? Yeah, yeah. You're thinking of our uh, basket presses, which are uh, right there near the tasting room. Uh, they're the original old champagne basket presses, which um, we use exclusively for our sparkling wine making. And so, yeah, that's what you saw happening. That was really fascinating to watch. And I remember you were putting something in and saying that you were um, slowing or stunning the yeast. And I think I said, oh, you're taming the yeast. <laughs> yeah, one of the, one of the processes with well, most winemaking is to give it just a little bit of uh, sulfur when you first crush the grapes, get the juice. That way you can... Uh, it's a control thing. You can knock back any um, natural yeast that may be there, and then you can add your own um, yeast of choice. Uh, and with sparkling wine making, which, uh, to be very specific, my father makes the sparkling wine, and so we got the one-two combination. He does the sparklers, and I do the still wines. But um, he's very particular in uh, in the type of yeast that he uses. Uh, the whole process is very sensitive, and so uh, it's very specific. Very, very specialized. Now, what's new at Letitia Vineyards? Um, Randall left me a note here saying uh, green winemaking practices. Green winemaking. Well, that, I would say it's not necessarily completely new, although it is uh, something that we've been doing a while. Um, it's our, our, I guess, our approach to the business is is sustainable, and that word's used a lot in a lot of different, uh, you know, production beyond just wine, and uh, it's often misunderstood, but it's a sustainable approach to our business, which means it's it's the whole farm uh, uh, mentality, meaning not only the way that we grow the grapes, uh, we make the wine, but also how we run the business, how we care for our employees. Uh, the entire practice is what we call sustainable, which is very important to us. Well, I can see why it would be, because obviously this is something you want to keep going. You have a great location there off of Highway 101, uh, just past Napomo. Beautiful, beautiful vineyards. And coming up, big event for San Luis Obispo County winemakers, Roll Out the Barrels. And um, I imagine you will be heavily involved in that. Yeah, it's one of the events where uh, it's one that we look forward to for the year. You know, it kind of kicks off the summer. Um, It's now... 22 years running, and so it involves all the local wineries, which, uh, as you know, are growing uh, rapidly, and it's a, it's a big part of the uh, community. And so it's an exciting event. It starts uh, next Thursday, and it, uh, it rolls through the weekend, literally rolls through the weekend. <laughs> and, uh, it's Pun intended. <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, so all the wineries that are involved, uh, it starts, like I said, on Thursday with uh, barrel tasting in San Luis Obispo with beautiful location. Uh, so a lot of us come out with our, our latest releases or barrel samples, and so people get a preview. Also, it's tied with a lot of the, the uh, local chefs, um, and so they're very involved as well. So it's, it's a really big community event. Yeah, it is a great event. And uh, joining us here in studio is Curtis Cole. He's been helping us out this morning, and he is a true foodie and a Cal Poly student also. <laughs> All right, good, good. And uh, Curtis... Do you have a question for Eric about this Roll Out the Barrels event? Hey, hey Eric. Uh, How's it going? I, I guess I'm just interested in, in the kind of pairings you're going to be doing with uh, certain chefs and their styles with the reds and the whites. And Do you have any, any information on, on the kind of the food-wine collaboration going on that's coming up? Uh, I wish I had more, but uh, I can tell you this, that you know we're specifically, there's wine dinners going on. We're not doing one this year. Um, we have in the past. Um, Although every winery does them throughout the uh, the year, uh, but the local chefs, the Central Coast here, you've got a big diversity in the styles of food. And so, whether you like you know specifically seafood, or you want to go with you know the barbecue style is big around here, uh, fusion, Italian. Um, there are a lot of really really good restaurants, and so they've all paired with the wineries. And and of course, here we do a lot of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, but there's also Cabernets, 
Tulsa Raws, bigger, heavier reds, and then, you know, you've got guys like us making some sparkling. And so um, as a consumer, we've got it all covered here. And uh, specifically, who's paired with who as far as the restaurants with the specific wines. If you go to um, slowvintners.com, uh, specifically the roll out the barrels tab, you can see all the, all the pairings. And I wish I, I knew more, but I don't, to be perfectly honest. So, Eric, uh, with the weather we've been having, that <laughs> crisp, sparkling wine, it sure is the weather for it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's time. Uh, like I said, summer is here, and that sparkling wine is, is wildly popular. Um, and um, that's another thing, too, when we're speaking about food, uh, it's an interesting point that many times people don't think about sparkling wine to pair with all their food. And so one of the educational pieces that we like to provide is, hey, try sparkling wine with your entire meal. Um, and you'll be surprised that a good dry brute can, can go with uh, just about any type of food. So try that out for the summer. That's my little sparkling <laughs> I like that <laughs> advice. I think I'm going to take you up on it. Um, so Eric Hickey from Letitia Vineyards, thanks for joining us this morning, filling us in on Roll Out the Barrels. Lots of information online, like you said, the Slow Vintner website, also slowwine.com has uh, all the information you need. You can get your tickets there. Uh, one interesting thing that they're offering is a designated driver ticket, super important, and I love that they're doing that. Yeah. So Eric, again, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Roll Out the Barrels is going to get underway this coming Thursday, goes through out the weekend. Just a great time to get out and sample some wonderful food, wonderful San Luis Obispo County wines right here in downtown San Luis Obispo. And we also want to mention that this hour brought to you by Everly Winery, where you'll always find complimentary wine tasting. It's located right there on Highway 46 East in Paso Robles. And to find out more information, log on to everlywinery.com. They have some great uh, Father's Day stuff coming up. So we can't forget that. Father's Day weekend coming up. Curtis Cole, you're not forgetting your Father's Day duties, are you? Certainly not. I'm going to be heading out to Santa Barbara tomorrow afternoon and have a little barbecue outside at his house in the hills of Montecito. It should be a beautiful day. Well, that sounds fabulous. Yeah. I think we some we should tag along with Curtis Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That sounds really fun. All right. Curtis, thank you for being here. Uh, Randall White, our fabulous, wonderful host, Randall White, is enjoying a little vacation time. He works really hard, so well-deserved time. He is in Madison, Wisconsin, and he is at this very moment enjoying the farmer's market there. He's probably on his, still <laughs> pedaling on his bicycle, but uh, he, he, <laughs> he was taking his bicycle there. Um we just want to thank everyone for joining us on this Saturday morning. All of our segments are available from this week and also from previous weeks online at eatdrinkexplore.com. Curtis Cole, our summer intern, uh, we also have another intern who will be joining us, Nicole Powers, but uh, she is enjoying Celebrating her own Father's yes, Day. Yes, Father's right Day, so she's not with us, but... Curtis Cole will be posting lots of content on eatdrinkexplore.com. That's what we're going to put him to work doing. And we have lots of great links there where you can find out more information about all the stuff we've been talking about. Brant Myers joined us earlier with some great travel deals from Gulliver's Travel in San Luis Obispo. We heard about the omnivorous mind. John Allen with USC. We'll put a link there where you can find out more information about that fabulous book. And also we heard about tipping. So we'll put a link there. You can take that tipping test on kiplinger.com find out if <laughs> if you know when and where to tip apparently i am all wrong in the tipping category i did a horrible 50 percent on that quiz um and i but i have to say in my defense it is because i am tipping too many people too much money so um <laughs> i didn't fail because i failed at tipping curtis <laughs> well you're tipping too well and then, I don't think in any world is that a bad thing, in my opinion. <laughs> All right. Don't forget you can download our smartphone and tablet device apps at the Apple Store and also Google Play. And a special thanks to our fabulous producers who are working overtime this morning. Since uh, Ricardo and Randall were not with us, Cora here this morning and Anthony, of course, um, doing all the work, making the show happen. Our intern, Curtis Cole, bringing us the news. He'll pr be providing us content throughout the summer. Can't wait to hear that. And for all of you out there, we just want to say enjoy this fabulous Saturday. Enjoy your summer. We want to see you back here next Saturday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patty Pyburn filling in for Randall White. Eat, drink, explore. Ciao for now.